Word. Let's see, let's see what we can get into today, man. You know what I'm saying? You watching the New York Minute with Cliff Notes. You know what I mean? Legend Life, L-I-B. You already know, L's up. Let's do it. All right. One, two, three. Yo, what's going on? This is Shaheen Reed. Back in my hometown, New York City. And why? We on the balcony in New York City. Um, first of all, he didn't tell me I needed to get dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, but you know, I'm here with my man Cliff Notes. And uh, he's actually filming a music video for a record he has called Read Between the Lines. Let your life, man. And, Let your life be yeah, man. Cliff Notes about to get done. Say no rentals, man. You should be watching the New York, York Minute. I, you know, New York I'm Minute great. with Cliff Notes. Feeling great. You know what I'm saying? About, about this time last year, I was incarcerated facing 15 years, Sha. So to be standing here talking with y'all is only due to the most high. There is a God because I'm standing here and I'm with a legend, Sha. And we're talking and we and we're talking to you. Far too kind, man. <laughs> 15 years, bro. Yes. That's serious. Serious. What what's it like, man, in those days, in those hours when you're facing that time and you know it could be a wrap because you know the judicial system, we see it with our own eyes. It's, it's, it's not too good for the brothers sometimes. It's you not. know, we we didn't see that with Trayvon Martin and mm -hmm. you know the different cases that been popping up. Sean Bell, all of them different cases, man. But, you know, with you, how, what was that like when you was walking that tight rope? What it was like, it was, uh, I had faith. You have to have faith at first. And then after faith, you need a good lawyer. <laughs> you need a great lawyer. And I, and I tell this to all my brothers out there, um, you know, I'm not a saint, I'm really not. I'm really not, I've, I've made mistakes in life, but in this case, yeah, I was innocent. A lot of the brothers that are inside don't have the right representation. Right. And I was I, I was in the dorm with a lot of brothers right now that, you know, I found out through through other people that ended up going up north and it was only because representation. So uh, once I found that news out, Sean, I knew that once I got out, I was gonna focus on this art. Because I, I've been doing this art but I wasn't really dedicated to it the way I should have. So once I found out that I had a second chance, I was like, I'm going to be. Yeah. I first met you um, a while ago, man, New York City streets, and I, I would see you a lot with Prodigy. Yes. From, um, how did that association come about? Well, you know, my, my, my cousin, my cousin Fly is, uh, like I said, he's an he's a original Mark Deep member. And, uh, and when Prodigy came home, my cousin Fly called me and said, listen, P is coming home. Get your shit together because he's ready to try to get you know get his get his movement going. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the most dangerous, which was a record that I have with Prodigy. You know what I'm saying? Quiet is kept. I wrote an original verse to that, and P said, "Yo, man, that verse is alright, but you gotta come harder." So you know, I've been getting a lot of the acclaim because of that verse. A lot of people have been hitting me on the blogs like, "Yo, you killed it, you killed it," and I gotta give the respect to Prodigy. You know what I'm saying? the OG because he is the reason that I wrote that verse because the first original verse I have, people don't know this, I'm just letting this out. This is the first time I'm letting this out with Shaheem right now. There was an original verse that I wrote and I rewrote it because of Prodigy telling me, I know you can come harder. And I came harder and, and the rest is history. So, you know, this is this is a, a, a record off of a body of work, man. What's, going, what's the project that you're doing? The project is called uh, Loyalty is Love. It's an album. And uh, basically, because uh, you know I'm independent, so right now because I'm independent, I'm not I'm not trying to rush the album out there. Yes. Yeah. And then when you when you started, man, like I remember seeing you like in Times Square when I was working at MTV, man. You was hustling the CDs, you know, hand in hand, yes. right in the middle of um, Times Square. Times Square. Yeah. I know you came across. A lot of individuals, myself, Sway, yes, even um, Puff one time. But oh. you knew Puff from a while back. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, Puff, Puff is from Mount Vernon, and one of my one of my big homies, one of my OGs, Rock, Rock is from Mount Vernon. And uh, Puff can be uh, misunderstood, you know. Uh, Puff is that dude that you can speak to about anything. Make a long story short, uh, one time in Times Square, uh, you know, I was selling CDs. I was out there hustling, yeah. and uh, 
Puff was coming through in his truck, you know, doing what he do. And I told one of my boys, I was, I was in the, I was in the act of making a sale, right. the right type of sale. <laughs> and uh, Puff, I told my boy, I said, yo, go knock on Puff's window and make a long story short, Puff, they knocked on Puff's window and they knocked a little too hard. And you know, if anybody knows my man P Diddy, you know, Sean Holmes, you don't knock on his window too hard. Yeah. And uh, they knocked on his window too hard. And uh, Puff pulled up a little bit and he got out and he hopped out and he said, yo, what the fuck? And you know, he was ready to fight. He was ready to fight, you know what I'm saying? And my boys was like, yo, what, what, what? And I had to come over and uh, make a long story short, man, it was, it was, a, it was a crazy situation because once he saw me, he said, like, oh shit, what's up? He said, Cliff, what, what the fuck you doing? And I said, yo, man, I'm out here selling CDs. I told my boy to get your attention. I didn't mean for them to knock on your window that hard. But, uh, you know, shout out to Puff because he was he was ready to throw down and we was on the street looking crazy and he's like, yo, man, I don't give a fuck. His security was actually telling him, like, chill, chill. And, you know, Puff is very hands-on and I got a lot of respect for that brother. You know what I mean? I love Brooklyn, Queens, uh, Harlem. I'm from Long Island, though, and I, I appreciate Sha speaking about it because there's a rich history in Long Island. Actually, I grew up a block from uh, Maceo, De La So, yeah. who's a you know, big, big homie of mine who uh, was a, a, is, I consider a mentor. And uh, Maceo had most, uh, what was it, most Def, Talib, Kweli, all these guys were out in the hood in common. Common, all these guys were around the way in Long Island, getting the energy, getting the vibe, coming back to Manhattan, doing shows or whatever, whatever it may, may be. So, you know what I'm saying? Yes. WC, WC. Well, uh, Dub C, I mean, like, that's one of my big homies. I mean, see, I met him in Times Square, and uh, you know, when I, when I, when I, I said, Yo, Dub, you know, and he, it, you know, just the way that he responded to me was like, Yo, What's up? And I was like, Yo, nigga, what's up? And then. We approached each other and I was like, yo man, I know who you are. You dub C man, West Side Connect. He said, yeah. He said, well yo, take what's up, what you want? I said, yo man, let's do a record. So we ended up doing a record called New York to LA. Yes. yes. Who's some of the other people you working with on your album? Well on the album right now, you know, I have I have a record with uh I also have a record with Capadon. I have a record with Capadon from Wu. That's 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 a good good family member of mine. And you know, Besides, I say Prodigy, Reek the Villain, Capadon, Dub C. That's about it right now. I mean, I, you know, there's a lot I mean, of guys. That's a great. That's a. That's a pretty red cat. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. You know, make light of that. I'm. I. I it, it, I'm honored to be able to work with Capadon. Is another story. I mean, uh, Capadon came to came to the studio from Staten Island. He said, "Yo, Cliff, man, you know." I hear this record, but this record can be crazy. And Cap put his verse on it, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that, you know, I haven't released yet. It's gonna be on the album, but you know, like another another legend. I mean, if you know what the Wu Tang movement, what Capadon has done, I mean Bitch, you, know, you ain't got nothing on the bridge. Every other day my whole dress goes switch. Oh my god. I mean to to be crazy. to be with to be around those dudes was was amazing. Was amazing, you know what I'm saying? So that definitely inspired me to, to, to keep doing what I'm doing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, anything you wanna, when, anything you wanna search, I, I try to keep it simple. My IG, my Twitter, is at Cliff Notes. So, you know, just spell it with a K, L-I-F-F-N-O-T-E-Z, and you're gonna get whatever you need. Whatever you need is right there. Videos, YouTube, all of that is right there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? This is a New York Minute with my man Sha. Listen, I'm honored to have my man Shot come up and talk with me. So I know I know everybody watching this is like, you know, yeah, yeah, Cliff is smoking cigar, he chilling, but listen, this is this How? is this is this is a this is a, a legend right here, but a active legend that's still in the game and you know what I'm saying? And to have him come up and speak with me, I'm honored. We just getting started, my brother. <laughs> yes, you already know. Yeah.